Paul, it's the story of my life that things go wrong when I think things are going so right. Earlier this afternoon, I bumped into you coming out of the water. Great interview. Couldn't hear a word. Uh, can you remember what it felt like when you jumped in earlier? It wasn't so much how I felt, Richard. It was how I looked round with the other 20, 30 people that jumped in at the same time and they came up out of the water. Everybody was smiling. Everybody loved it, even though it's not particularly warm. And you could tell that we'd achieved something that people are going to enjoy for years and years and years to come. And that is rather satisfying when we've been struggling for years to get the money together, to restore a heritage project and then see ourselves as leisure operators in the future and exactly how we we're going to manage and take this project forward. Today's the accumulation of 18 years hard work by many, many people and to see those smiling faces was magic. It has, as you say, been one hell of a journey. Was there any point at which you thought this isn't going to happen? We have had points when we've had real setbacks, uh, both with major funding such as the lottery, with planning applications, delays on approvals from the Environment Agency due to new climate change regulations. All these have caused delays. Delays cost more money. They bring in uncertainty and nervousness. And so there have been a number of times when the projects look very shaky. Um, we've got a wonderful board of trustees, a wonderful team of volunteers, never gave up wouldn't let any of us give up. We always said, we'll give this one more chance. And one more shot on more than one occasion has got us to this point today. Well, this afternoon, great pictures. The sun was shining, blue skies. I hope it's not gonna rain on us while we're talking. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the place looked amazing. And it's so easy to look back at the photographs of what this looked like. Yeah. Uh, full of dank water and weed, shabby, mm -hmm. dirty. Mm -hmm. um, it's a palace. Yeah, yeah. It's a great restoration story. One of those many projects you see all over the United Kingdom of community effort, not giving up, doggy determination to preserve something that they believe is right to do. Uh, Bath is a world heritage city. In the, in the city, there are two buildings on the National At Risk Register, and one of them was this. We've sorted this one out, and now there's just one more to go. What's the other one? Uh, the old King Edward School uh, in the centre of town. Yes, yes. Um, a beautiful building. <laughs> yes, the, um, the bane uh, of my life. So <laughs> that's the last one, last one. But this one, uh, you know, this one has taken 18 years. And uh, what a fantastic result. Uh, and it's amazing that we've worked as a heritage trust but actually what we've created is a leisure facility for the health and well-being of the whole community for the years ahead. And I think it, this couldn't be a better project in a better place at a better time. Now, this afternoon, um, the privileged few who made history, uh, you've got more swimmers coming on Open Heritage Day, but are you making any uh, further arrangements as, as we go into late autumn, winter, uh, for people to cold water swim yeah. here? The water today is 18 degrees centigrade, that's just natural heat. Uh, it'll get colder and colder over the next few months. Uh, 600 lucky swimmers are swimming next Saturday for the Heritage Open Days. They, that went on the website and went in 46 minutes. Hundreds of people were very angry they didn't get in. There is a, a, a pent-up demand, and by the end of this month, on our websites, we'll be announcing a series of further cold water swims throughout October and into November. And if the demand continues, there'll be more. Uh, and we'll continue that through till next Easter, when we will reopen on a daily basis throughout the whole summer of next year with heated water. The heating will be in place then, and now, then it'll be very comfortable to swim throughout the summer at around 25 degrees centigrade. Are we any nearer to announcing prices? We're, we're very near now. Uh, our operator, Fusion Lifestyle, a leisure trust, another charity operator, uh, have done their sums, and they've been dis in discussion with the local community about those, and they'll be published very shortly. Paul, thank you. You've come late and missed the plunge. Was that deliberate? Oh, it is a bit chilly, isn't it? Although 20 is not bad, to be fair. Just didn't have my swimsuit with me. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> I will get in at some stage, though. <laughs> I know they've been very grateful for your support. How are you feeling today? Just so pleased. I think, you know, I've been involved now for about 12 years, and I think during that 12 years, there were many times when I thought it was never actually going to happen because we would have 
Prince's Trust money and then it would go away and you know we just kind of got support and then it never quite materialised so it's fantastic to actually see it at long last for the you know for the community and for Bath you know it's such a lovely treasured old building it would have been absolutely heartbreaking to have lost it.